You have two seconds to guess where I am. Ah, you got it, we're at Catrum, and that is because our little Catrum has just gone in for a little bit of work. So, let's go and see how it's gone. Hey Christian, how you doing? All right? Good, thank yeah, you. Good to see you. Well, we're really looking forward to picking up our Catrum. Uh, but every time I come in here, I'm always greeted with this one, which is yep. obviously a little bit more powerful. Yeah, the famous ours. famous R500. The famous R500, yep. the one that went around the Top Gear track. Was it faster than a Bugatti oh, Veyron? That's something? correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was quite a stir that lap actually. Yeah, so, I bet it yeah, did. I bet it did. Because yeah. you can get one of these at a smidgen of the price of a Bugatti. So of course, of course. Um, I wanted to have a quick chat with you just before we go and have a look at ours about different options because Catrims are so personal in terms of you can chuck loads of stuff on it. You can have them really bare. Yeah. You can add and change as you go yeah. on through. Your ownership. You can fully tailor it to the spec that you want. So you get plenty of people that buy a Caterham in a certain spec and then as they use it, uh, they might start doing track days and things they weren't doing before and start to put different options on there. Yeah, so and you can, can basically change them out whenever you like. Whatever you want to do, we can do for you, yeah. The R500 actually uses an older uh, gearbox, the Quaife gearbox. We now use a Sadev one, uh, which is a bit more refined and you can flat shift on it as well. So, so flat shift is basically you can pin the throttle yep. and literally just go straight through Bang the gears. Through the you don't gears. have to come off. Don't have to no lift. Clutch, yeah, the, this one here, you just have to do a little lift, change the right. gear back on the throttle, but with the, the Sadev, yep, no, just keep the throttle throttle planted and, and bang through we'll the gears. We'll have a chat about so. one of those later. Well, let's have a quick look through into your showroom because you've sure. got an amazing showroom just before we go through into uh, kind of where the magic happens. Yeah. Let's have a look at uh, some of the of examples you've got here. Yeah. So here we are in the showroom. Now, there's so much to look at. We won't go through everything because it will be here all day. Um, but something that we just wanted to touch on quickly, uh, something that we didn't speak about before but is the kind of the catering academy it's the racing yeah. side of of owning a catering indeed yeah one of the the best ways to get the best use out of your catering um i was saying to to someone earlier obviously talking to the academy but with them about it um did it myself last year um which has been he absolutely came third, great just yeah. in case he's gonna say he came third <laughs> pretty good yeah thank you so thank how you. do you get involved in that do you just basically buy the car in the package can you also use the car on the road like exactly it yeah it's a road legal car so you know something that's quite appealing to some people that have the lower budgets for racing is you can literally drive the car to the circuit have your race weekend as long as everything goes well drive it home again as well so it's it's really good you buy the car you get the whole package in there so it takes you through getting your race license they do some exclusive test days first so it's just you and the other caterers you're racing with on circuit nothing else to scare you this year it's changed as one sprint and then six circuit race weekends the sprint's still a definitely a great way to get you into it so it sort of gets you into the competitive environment before you actually line up on the grid with and all the other cars around you is that then there's lots of people from lots of different levels can, can it's, start. So the academy is for amateurs. So okay. if you've actually raced before, if you've got a race license and a signature on that license, then you can't enter. Okay. So you get people that have done karting and stuff like that that sort of come up. But even if you've done proper competitive karting with a kart license, again, you can't, can't enter the academy. Right. So it's trying to keep a level playing field. The cars are quite, um, well, they're, they're all exactly the same and there's only a couple say, of things you can change. So there's literally just a couple of things you can change, but two all the options. engines are the same. Exactly the same, the yeah. Come. Tires are all the same. Okay. There's two options, a roll bars and some different brake pad compounds that you can So it's all down change. to your talent. Your talent and uh, yeah, set up the car and tire pressures helps, but it's it's mainly about the driver. Whenever I see Ketrams out and about, they all look very similar, but they can be quite different. I guess. Mm -hmm. So what's the kind of the base spec? Where so, do you start? So the base spec currently as a new car is a 270. Right. Um, you get to try and make it easy for you. You have two packages to choose from the S pack or the R pack. S pack being more tailored to the road. So you've got more things like softer dampers, seats and a heater and stuff like that. All the okay. weather gears included. R pack is for the track. Yep. So you get the more fun stuff like a limited slip differential, nice. lightweight flywheel, the bucket seats and so harnesses still and drive, stuff like you that. Drive it on the road, still obviously. road legal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's just you may want to add a few more creature comforts like the heater or weather gear and stuff like that to an RPAC car. Okay. Um, and then you go up from there and there's another three models, are there? There is, yeah. So 270, for example, this one here is a 270R. Right. Uh, really good place to start. It's actually my first car was a 270R. Okay. Um, can quickly upgrade that through a 310. It's a, an easy after-sales option to do to upgrade the engine spec, get a bit oh, more amazing. power out of okay, it. Cool. Uh, again, this is what I did. It's very popular for the 270 customers. Uh, but it's the 1.6 variant engine. If you want 
So then step up, you go to the two litre Duratec, entry model is 360 right. um, of the Duratec, and then again 420 is step up from that. You can easily upgrade a 360 to a 420 right. um, as an after sales option, but the jump from that is then up to the 620, which is a bit of a beast. And that's this one here? That's correct, yeah. So this is the 620R, which has the sequential gearbox we were talking about yeah. earlier. Um, it is quite an animal. It's, um, we talk <laughs> about easily upgrading a 360 to a 420. That's done relatively straightforward, but uh, 620 is a whole different kettle of fish. It's like take everything out of that engine, put it in a bin, and completely and rebuild again. it with upgraded internals. Right. Yeah. And so, so then what horsepower has this got? So this is 310 horsepower. In a car that weighs about as much as a shoe. Yes, which is uh, 100 horsepower more than the 420, so quite a, quite wow. a jump. It's a supercharged uh, two litre Duratec. Um, okay. Just, I love going on your website and, and configurating, you know, all the different bits on, on all the different models of car. Yeah. Um, I guess so. The reason why we're here is to have a look at our car because we wanted you guys to do a little bit of, of work on it. We sure. saw a few issues with it. I've spotted it over there. Yeah. Should we go and have a look? Of course. Let's okay. go. So we, I also wanted to mention, actually, that 620R, you can win that car at BOTB.com. BOTB.com. They uh, have a dream car winner every single week. We've actually done a collection down here, haven't we? Somebody won a Caterham. I yeah. think we've had a couple of Caterham winners and they came down here to collect their car. It's quite a cool experience to come down uh, and see was, how it's it all made. It was great made. to see his face as well when yeah. he was picking it up. It was, it was this yeah. gorgeous red one. It was so, so nice and he was yeah. so, so happy. So yeah, BOTV.com, they have a winner every single week and uh, tickets start from just 85p and you can win one of the 620Rs, which is just an animal of a car. Now not quite as much of an animal but still this has got a fair amount of power hasn't it That's this is the botb caterham so talk me through this I, I mean it's got the two liter engine but it's had a slight upgrade with the um with the is it like an is it, are they individual throttle bodies they are what? yeah so they're roller barrel throttle bodies and like a normal butterfly valve you imagine when that's open there's still yep. a restriction inside there uh, for that each cylinder has its own port that as it rolls round is just a direct feed through oh, so cool. no restriction much better intake much better throttle response so this was so. a this was a super seven because you don't do technically a super seven anymore yeah so this was we bought this quite a few years ago now and actually um uh, one of the guys at BOTV built it and made it, and, okay, yeah. and it's it's still working. Still going somehow. well, yeah. Um, now, something I didn't quite understand on the sheet that came back with this is kind of what we found. Yep. It was uh, something to do with a, like, was it a ribbon cable or something on it the? It was exhaust? a power lead. Oh, the bobbin you're yeah, talking bobbin, about, actually. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I mean, it's it it's a very simple little part. It's right. just a rubber mounting down here by the exhaust. Oh, I see. So again, after a lot of use and stuff, it can just start to deteriorate. Right. Um, Luckily, a very, very low cost item and a quick, easy e fit fix. Okay, so, cool. Yep. Can you remember anything else that was done? Uh, I believe there was a power lead replaced. Uh, um, yes, there was a power lead replaced. And that is because where we keep this is in a, a little garage and it only comes out, obviously, when the weather's nice. And we think there might be some rodents in there. There was uh, some, some weird signs of some... Uh, I was kind deterioration of half, to the lead. I was so, kind of half expecting yeah. sometimes to come in and take the cover off to put the battery back on and there'd be a mouse like that. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so she's running sweet, everything's good. Now, obviously this is the final product, but mm -hmm. is there any chance we could go through to kind of, of where, where everything gets fixed and have yep. a little look at what's going on? Of course, Maybe yeah, come with me. So this is the workshop. Um, it's obviously where, active, there's lots going on. There People is. Banging stuff and tightening things. Indeed. So this is where our car would have been. This is where your car would have been to have all the work carried out. Obviously, then it goes outside, gets cleaned and put back in the showroom for you for the okay. customer collection. Oh, there's one coming so. in now. We better move out of the way. So I guess there's lots of cars coming in here for loads of different reasons, whether it just be a service, whether it be for upgrades, as you say, you can do engine upgrades. A real mix. So obviously you've got your normal servicing, MOTs, repairs, um, preparation of the used cars next door. Uh, big part of it, as we briefly touched on earlier, is the motorsport side of things. So looking after the cars, um, getting them maintained throughout the season, any crash repairs they may have. Um, as well as setting them up, whether it be just one setup at the beginning of the circuit to some drivers that do like things tweaked, depending on the, the circuit the that they're going okay. to. Um, we said about seat fittings earlier, engine upgrades. Yeah, the list, the list goes the list on. This goes on. Yeah. I love it in here. I could spend all day in here. Yeah. With that being said, I did just want to touch though on there's a quite a green monster down there. Yeah, it? yeah. That's uh, a little leftover from the days of Formula One, yeah, basically. I, I so, did think. so this was when it was Renault and Caterham. Yeah, so Renault were the engines that we had in there, uh, ran for a few years uh, with, the, with the Caterham F1 team. 
sadly not there anymore. Um, costs a lot of money to, to follow the other cars around, but it's yeah, been a great, great experience, great for the brand. Well, I think I should probably go and take our newfound car yep. uh, a little bit of a spin. So, Dan, thank you so much for showing That's us right. around. No problem at all. It's been an absolute pleasure. I love coming down here. Um, and as I said, please do go and check out BOTB.com because not only have they got Patreon in the lineup, you can also win. Oh, God, there's over 150 different cars in the lineup. So, you never know. You might be next week's winner with BOTB. But we need to get the keys, need to pay the invoice, and then we need to shoot back to London. that Caterham know exactly what they're doing with these throttle bodies because the acceleration in this now is like night and day to compare to what it was like before. So just that a little adjustment on the throttle bodies has made a huge difference. And this car now seems to accelerate so much faster. I mean, my hair is a bit of a mess, but oh my God, I love these things. So it's well worth sometimes just taking your car in for a service and then they'll rebalance the throttle bodies. And as a plane flies overhead from Gatwick Airport, this thing is like a bike on four wheels. It's mad. I've got so much love for these Caterhams, so much love. <laughs> Thank you so much to Caterham for allowing us to film in their amazing showroom. We'll be back on the ITH channel with loads more content real soon. And remember, if you want to win a Caterham or like 150 other cars, make sure you check out BOTB.com. We'll be back again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.